Alright guys, today's video is a tutorial. This is the first tutorial that we've had on this channel and we're going to be covering one of the hardest things to do with your kayak and that is getting the bloody thing onto a plane. Traveling with your kayak is one of the hardest things you're ever going to have to do with your life. Most major airlines don't officially carry kayaks, which sucks. Fortunately, over the past few years, we've figured out a few tricks of the trade to getting them onto the plane almost every time. I'm going to share them with you today. Here we go. Step number one, disguise your kayak. Step number two, disguise yourself. Your goal when you go to that check-in desk is for that employee to like you. It's hard for them to do that if you smell bad and you have stains on your clothes. So dress up nice, make sure you smell good, and smile when you get there. Also, smelling nice is something that your fellow passenger and anyone you have to sit next to for prolonged periods of time will greatly appreciate. Not gonna fit in that elevator. Back out the door. <laughs> no, God, please, no, no, no! Do you guys remember at the start of this video when I said taking your kayak through the airport might be one of the hardest things you'll ever have to do in your life? Yeah, not kidding. Like, this sucked so much. Not gonna fit in the lift, so we're taking the scenic route. We made it. There are no more steps to complete. We're at the check-in desk. All we have to do now is obey these rules and we will get our kayak onto the plane. Hopefully, maybe. Rule number one, never admit that it's a kayak. Don't even say that word in the airport. It would be much better off to say that you had a bomb than to say that you had a kayak. It would be handled much more maturely and professionally and politely. So just never erase that word from your vocabulary. We don't use that word anymore. What we have is sports equipment. And if they want to know what kind of sports equipment we have, we have windsurfing equipment. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I'm sorry, I tried to check in online, but it just wasn't working. I, I do, so I have one big bag and I have a piece of sports equipment as well. Um, I just left it there. Rule number two, park your windsurfing equipment a little bit further away from the check-in desk. Just because it's so big, rather than trying to like wheel it through there, it's all right, but just leave it here until I check in. We do this for, for two reasons. Number one, the check-in lady might be really nice and not make you have to drag it all the way up to the front to get it weighed and enable you to exaggerate how light this thing is. The other reason is that the further away something is, the smaller it looks. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. Small, far away. I forget it. Which brings us to rule number three. Never be exact about your length and width and height measurements. For whatever reason, airlines get a little bit fussy when your sports equipment gets to be over 300 centimeters when all those totals are added up. So you want to stick as close to that 300 centimeters guideline as you can. It's like seven and a half feet. 
Mate, I'm so rubbish with a conversion, sorry. Okay. Okay, makes sense. All right, thanks very much, no worries. Our kayak disguise has worked, our clean clothes and deodorant have been appreciated by the check-in lady, and we've managed to charm our way into getting our kayak onto the plane. Boom. We have one last hurdle before we're home free, and that's taking it down to the guys at Oversized Baggage. These guys are not fools, they see a lot of oversized baggage come through and they have a pretty good appreciation for what fits onto a plane and what doesn't. And a creek boat is generally pretty close to that cutoff point, so you want to be especially nice to these guys and get out and away from them as quickly as you can <laughs> before they realize. Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. Cheers, boys. See you next time. And just like that, you're on your way to your next destination with your kayak. Happy days. So, I mean, 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Couple of bonus points here. Number one. Get big, wide bags. The wider the bag is, the more likely it is to get stuck on the runners on the on the um, weight scale at the check-in desk, and that means that the bag's supported and it's not as heavy as they think it is. Perfect. You can also, if your bag is too heavy, you can use a classic foot jam technique. Um, I didn't have to use it this time, fortunately, but it has been a very useful technique in the past. All right, last tip. There is actually a way to get your kayak onto the plane for free. It just puts you in a bit of a moral dilemma. I'm not proud of myself for using this, but if you want to get your kayak onto the plane for free, what you're going to want to tell them is that it's a water mobility scooter for a, for a disabled friend who's dying. <laughs>